Gravity exerts an accelerative effect upon fluid motion only when the flow in question has a locally inclined free surface. This is best illustrated by a liquid flowing in contact with the atmosphere, as in this vertical jet. Since the free surface is a line of zero pressure, the stagnation point coincides with the maximum level attainable, the line of total head. And the velocity head increases on either side of the stagnation point, as the surface decreases in elevation. The velocity at points within the flow is related to that of free surface points by the flow net. The pressure at any internal point then follows from the Bernoulli equation. It is evident that an internal pressure must exist, for only the lateral pressure gradient is available to produce the required horizontal acceleration of each half of the flow. If the pressure is zero, not only along the free surface, but throughout the moving liquid, as in this jet, then conditions correspond to those of free fall. In the light of the Bernoulli equation, the sum of the velocity head and the centerline elevation of a liquid jet must be constant. In the light of the equations of physics, the horizontal velocity component must be constant, since there is no horizontal acceleration and the square of the vertical component alone, hence varies inversely with the elevation. Torricelli, a pupil of Galileo, reasoned from his master's laws of free fall, that a vertical jet should rise practically as high as the free surface in the supply tank. Moreover, for an inclined jet, from the geometry of the parabola and the circle, he showed that the intercept of the initial tangent with a circle based at the point of tangency, determines the location of the vertex, and hence of all other points of the parabolic jet profile. Evidently, the maximum length of trajectory is attained at 45 degrees, when horizontal and vertical components are initially equal. It follows the jets from orifices in the side of a tank, equidistant from top and bottom, will intersect the bottom line at the same point, and hence that an orifice at mid-height will produce a jet with the greatest horizontal throw. High-velocity jets from fire nozzles fail to duplicate these parabolic trajectories because the intense turbulence generated in the hose causes the flow to break into spray.